morning, IHSA football family. It is the Sunday conclusion, week one, 2022. Here we go, Sunday conclusion video. Every Sunday comes out. Uh, make sure you check out the article on deepdishfootball.com. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. My email again is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Again, the article, it's got some of the top performers there too. Again, players, make sure I have your stats by Friday night, Saturday, Friday night especially because I select the Deep Dish Football Player of the Night in the state of Illinois. So please make sure I have your stats. Make sure I have your game film. Email me at coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Coachbigpetefp at gmail.com or tweet at me or DM me on Twitter. You can follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email, again, is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. I have to keep repeating this because I know this week one, I know every week one, when I do my top performers on the article, people get pissed off, and they didn't send me their info. So I can't do anything about it. Make sure I have your info. Come on, people. It's not that hard. Week two, there'll be more performers of the week, but it's always the first week that's the biggest pain in the ass for some reason. All right, uh, again, September, and I'm starting it off early because, yes, it is the, still August. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. If you like my work, I'm not taking any tips, no donations for Deep Dish Football. Please send any money if you like my work. If you don't like my work, still send the money to St. Jude's Children's Hospital because it's Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Um, they do a wonderful job, especially with parents that are unable to, that don't have the money to pay for the medical expenses, please check it out, St. Jude's Children's Hospital. All right, let's get started, Deep Dish Football game, Deep Dish Football Week, Week 1, IHSA Football, Illinois High School Football, and again, quick reminder, Deep Dish Football Live is every Wednesday at 7 p.m., DuPage Run and Shoot Show is every Thursday, comes out in the night, and breakfast with Coach Big Pete, I announce who the award winners are, 9 a.m. on the Coach Big Pete Facebook page. Let's get started. The deep dish football player of the night in the state of Illinois is Bolingbrook Jonas Williams. 407 yards, 7 touchdowns. Congratulations to Mr. Jonas Williams. Well deserved. He is a freshman quarterback for the Bolingbrook Raiders. McCombs Tanner Farrell is the coach of the night for the Pumpkin Spice Donut Award winning coach of the night as they beat Rushville Industry. Congratulations to McCombs Tanner Farrell. Hersey uh, beats Nutrier. Um, I thought that was going to be a good game, but it looks like Nurse Hersey's got, got the better. Plainfield South beats West Aurora. Edwardsville, big win. They ended a streak. I forgot, I forgot the name of the Missouri team, but they ended the winning streak of it. Big shot to Edwardsville. They played their butts off. Um, St. Patrick beats St. Ignatius. Huh? St. Patrick, Coach Martin's got that team playing. Cuyahoke beats uh, uh, Elton. Just gotta get the Cuyahoke thing if I don't, so I don't get bitched at by the Cuyahoke fans. LaSalle Peru beats United. Herser beat Herser and Streeter win. Herser beats Charleston. Um, Moline wins. Moline beats St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence, congratulations to Moline and Coach uh, Morrissey. Um, we in Academy beats Marion Central Catholic Deep Dish Football Game of Week. Win Academy was just too much. Um, they were unbelievable. That offensive line was unbelievable. OPRF beats Fenwick in the Deep Dish Football Overtime Game of the Week. Wow. Wow. Jack Gooch, hell of a quarterback. Um, Nichols had three interceptions, if I'm not mistaken. Big shout to them. Glenbar West absolute uh, wins Maris in the fourth quarter. Uh, big shot to Glenbar West. Uh, Allen's had a huge game. Rochester loses big to Sacred Heart Griffin. Ty, Ty Lott, unbelievable game. Stillman Valley beats Brian. Congratulations to Stillman Valley on the big upset. Glenwood beats Jacksonville. Jack Newton had uh, three touchdowns or four touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. Big shout out to uh, Glenwood. Weedon North uh, beats DGS, the underscore self. Uh, it is what it is. Jacobs beats Crystal Lake self. Jacobs had a huge game. Brown had about four touchdowns. Lena Winslow beats EPC. Steadily and fastly. Carmel beats Antioch. Big shot to Carmel. Ottawa Marquette. 
beats Aurora Christian in the fourth quarter. Big shout out to them. Batavia Spinks, Phillips. Congratulations to Batavia football. Keep an eye out for that kid, Wepley. Marmion Academy absolutely destroys Bishop McNamara. A huge surprise score. Big shout to Marmion Academy. Glenbard North beats Kenwood. <laughs> Jesus. Glenbard North, you're killing me right now. You're killing me. I pick you, you lose. I don't pick you, you win. Make your minds up, Glenbard North. Jesus, you're killing me. Uh, Wabonzi Valley loses. Uh, Wabonzi Valley loses the Oswego East. Mount Carmel beats St. Reed in great fashion. Nazareth Academy two to zero beats Kinky Key two to zero. Defensive battle. Morris beats Cole City in good fashion. Lamont beats Libertyville. Congratulations, Lamont! Again, another huge team on the rise. Hoffman Estates uh, loses to Downers Grove. I told you. I told you. Don't make. Don't. Don't sleep on that team. Don't sleep on that Downers Grove North team. Naperville North beats Homewood Flossmore. Uh, we saw it as a trap game, but they won. Um, Naperville Central beats Hinsdale Central. Um, <sighs> that do Page Valley Conference every year. They just do. They just make it so hard. They make it hard for a lot of us um, with the predictions in it. It. <sighs> You, you want to say Naperville North is the favorite, but just Naperville Central again, that one was a huge head turn. Um, yeah, Nico Valley won, if I'm not mistaken. I see beats Wil Montini. Wilmington beats Marengo. Bolingbrook beats Manuka. Quarterback hits seven touchdowns, a freshman quarterback. Peoria Metamora, Peoria won. Peoria Metamora game I was uh, um, given to the winner. After Metamore said no because they had the fight in the uh, stands. It's always classy. Um, St. Charles East beats Lincoln Way Central. Uh, Lincoln, yeah, Lincoln Way Central. Niles Notre Dame beats Willowbrook. Richards loses to Morgan Park. Morgan Park, unbelievable. Plainfield North beats Plainfield East. Big time. Riverside Brookfield beats Morton. Uh, I'm eating crow for that. I thought Morton's going to have a good season. They still can. Orion wins big. Quarterback hit four touchdowns. Congratulations to him. Uh, Chip Filler or Filler. I forgot the kid's name. Um, William Warrenville self gets, uh, loses to Simeon. Simeon's running back. Andrew Cruz has four touchdowns. I keep telling you people. Andrew Cruz is the, the real deal. Don't sleep on him. Stop sleeping on the guy. Um, yeah. Uh, Taft loses to Glenbrook North. Um, St. Charles North loses as well. Uh, just, I think we, this week was a lot better than the last two seasons, including the spring season of 2020. Um, I think we, again, I think, uh, 2021, I'm sorry. I think, um, we still have a good idea of who the good teams are. I think the biggest shockers was Marion Central Catholic. Um, Glenbar North was huge. That was huge. Um. It just, it just, I, I, this was a good week. This was a good week. Last week was, last week, last year was pure chaos. If we have a week, like, where we have, like, absolute, a lot of upsets, I'm going to, gee, not again, not again. Um, but I like upsets. It's just, it's just, this is parody. It's parody. in high, Illinois high school football, there's a lot of parody. And again, the, sometimes you got kids that are absolutely talented don't really believe that they're talented and you got to encourage them um and again team wins individuals win awards team wins championships and that's the that's the big thing so i'm definitely impressed with batavia's win um a little bit discouraged uh San sandberg uh, San i was completely shocked that sandberg uh lost as well um glenbar north unbelievable geneva won two um, Downers Grove South, I had them as my, one of my big underdogs, state title contenders. We'll see what happens with that. Um, Nazareth, I told you guys, stop sleeping on Nazareth. For some reason, people are, oh, Nazareth's not going to be good this year. They're going to be good. They got a talented team. I don't know why people are telling, telling me that, like, Nazareth doesn't even have a shot to make, chance to make the playoffs again. I'm like, they're going to make the playoffs, and they're going to challenge for a state title. Um, I think this year's a really good year for them. Honestly, I think Nazareth is, uh, is one of the talented teams. 
Plainfield North is always Plainfield North. Bolingbrook completely impressed me with the win. A um, little bit shocked by the OPRF score. A little bit shocked by that score. Uh, but my surprise, eh, it's up in the air. OPRF uh, deserves some respect. Um, I think OPRF is going to take that York title now. I think OP OPRF is going to be a surprise team in the West Suburban Conference. Um, yeah, so pretty interesting. Um, Pel uh, Peloton won. Um, I'm looking more up towards the north this week, too. I am looking definitely at the North Suburban Conference. Um, I'm going to Grant versus Taft. That's the deepest football game of the week, week two. So we'll see what happens. So it should be a lot of fun. My email is coachbigpete, fpgmail.com. Follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Disruptor on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Make sure you pay attention to the article. Um, uh, again, um, oh, I forgot about big shout to St. Beat on the big win as well. Um, big shout out uh, to St. Carl Griffin, as always. Glenwood, a huge win over Jacksonville. Um, Edwardsville, again, I'll say it again. Edwardsville, congratulations on the big win. I'll see you guys on Deep Dish Football Live on Wednesday. This is a little bit of a short video. It'll be a little bit longer next week um, to talk more about the games and everything else. But this is Sunday Conclusion. Make sure you check out the article. And if you like the work, please leave a donation slash tip to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. They do a wonderful job. And this whole month is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. I know I'm starting off early, um, but it is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, September. Um, and St. Jude's Children's Hospital does a wonderful job. Thank you guys so much and enjoy the day, enjoy the week, and uh, let's get ready for week two.